I went on to Coffeezilla. Coffeezilla last night. Good little bit of skit. I'm not sure if it's up there now. I think they may have pulled it. Um, and uh, I, I, I had a good time. There were some good guys. They were good guys. But, uh, yeah, it was okay, it was okay, it was okay. And I don't like waking up that early. You know, I'm, I'm a, I'm a early, right, early, early to bed, early riser. You know, that's just the way it am, you know. Yeah, it was okay, it was okay, it's okay. I gotta send a few invites out. We'll go live soon, guys. Just calm down, calm down. We'll go live soon, just relax. And we'll go live soon. We'll go live soon. Here we go. We'll go very live soon. I just want to get that blue shirt Buddha guy on. He'd be cool. He's cool as Fike. I love and I love ABC. He's so cool, man. He's cool. He's cool. I like him. He's man. He's very cool. Cool happening. You know the types. I just get this done, guys. We'll, we'll go live soon. Just, just, just talk amongst yourselves there. Um, what else can I tell you, man? It's, it's, it's been a hard week. My birthday's coming up. Yeah, happy birthday, Arch. Forty-eight years old, Bubba. Forty-eight, four, eight. And, um, yeah, that's coming up very soon there. I, I, um, yeah, that's coming, man. That's, 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 that's the way to go. It's coming up 48 years old, man. Too old for this YouTube shite. Yeah, that's how it goes, you know. Okay, guys, let's. Let's go live. Okay, we'll go live. Okay, Arch, sit down. Get ready. C makeup! Makeup! Makeup. Okay, we're, we're ready to go. Okay, okay, okay. Three, two, one. Archie Luxury here. You're live with the Poon Tiff. And um, this is Friday Night Live. We've got drinks available. Drinks available. J Wright, two pounds. Go live, Arch, 40 years, 48 years young. Thank you. I think I will. I think I will. Yes. And what else can I say to you? It's Blue Shirt, my favorite Blue Shirt Buddha. Hello, Blue Shirt. How are you? I'm good, Mike. How are you? Uh, a bit tired, man. I did that show with Coffee Zilla. Oh, did you? Yeah, I did the show. I did the show. Nice. And, um, How'd that go? Little... Uh, it's okay. It's okay. I don't know where it is now. I think think you... I don't know what happened, but anyhow, I did the show. I did my part of the bargain. That's all I can. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. They were I happy. You were happy. Everybody's happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, maybe you'll reach uh, some new punters. You never know. Guys um, like you, Lewis. Yeah. You never know. Yeah, that's exactly it there. It's pretty cool there. You know what was amazing this morning? What's that? Ron the Shrink in the Cardinals chat posted. Ron, Ron the Shrink in the Cardinals chat posted yep. one of your old videos. It was your unboxing of the Maserati Blue Dial. And let me tell you, it was classic Archie Luxury revisited. It was so good to see a happy, smiling mojo swearing rolex wearing pontiff again going through the whole story of how you how you were scamming the the solar company to get the watch from dave and it was so 
it had a little bit of everything. It was I was laughing out loud. Yeah. It had the yeah, tour no, of the that, house. Those those were the days. Those were the yeah, days. Those yeah. Yeah. And then we had the you know the three to four minutes of just you shooting the watch at the end with the with the jazz music, and then at the very end was a truck tire Glen commercial. Hey, what a, what a great, <coughs> what great days! It put a smile on my face. I was laughing out loud. <laughs> I posted it earlier in the chat, so if you guys want to check it out, yeah. it's classic Archie. Yeah, that's. In, in the chat on the WhatsApp group, you mean, or no, no, I posted it in the in the okay. chat here okay. Okay. during cool. the pregame show. I I did a um I, I did a a review yesterday mm. about the new bluesy submarina. I saw that. I saw yeah. that. I think that's the perfect one and done. If you want one watch to have, mm. that guy had a nice little collection. He did. He had an excellent collection, and you uh, liked I it a lot. I would have to say. The most, if you've got a bluesy, number two, my number two would be a Speedmaster. Mm -hmm. You've got a fairly modern Speedmaster, don't you? I do. I do. Nice modern Speedmaster, a nice, um, nice modern Speedmaster, mm -hmm. a nice bluesy. You're done and dusted. What more do you need? What more do you need? You don't. Mr. C, one dollar. One dollar, Mr. C. Um, I got to tell you, it's. <clears throat> I'm I'm actually looking at getting rid of a few watches, okay? But I think the timing. You've got to get the timing right. <clears throat> right. The paddocks. Look. <clears throat> love it or leave it, right? I know I joke around a bit, but. But paddocks are always sellable. You've just mm -hmm. got to pitch it right. The, the big problem is I'm in Brisbane, which is kind of like, let me put that into perspective. You know, Flint, Michigan, that's kind of like Brisbane. Okay, It's not exactly <laughs> winner central. Bad okay? water. Super chat. Hey, bad water. Here we go. Paul M, 5 euros 50. Would you pick a 126610 LN offered at retail right now or wait? For a promised one two six seven one zero BLRR at the beginning of 2020, can't make my mind. Man, I, I would squeeze the trigger for what? A bird in the hand is two in the bush. Mm. Man, I wouldn't. I would grab whatever you can get now. I don't like to wait. These dealers, man, if you can get a standard, uh, what's the LN? The LN, that's the standard one, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Correct. That's a great watch. Yeah. I would pull the trigger on that now. 41 mil, that's mm -hmm. a fantastic watch. I I think a bird in the hand is two in the bush. And the other thing is too, Paul, and what happens to you, man? What happens if your financial situation can't pay for that at the beginning of 2020? You mean mm. 2021? 2021, you mean Beginning yeah, of 20... Yeah. Man, I would grab it now because don't muck around. Don't muck... A and that's a great watch. Look... If you had both offered at the same time, that's one thing. That's a different story. Right. Yeah, I wouldn't pass up on it. And you got Here Super we go. Chat. We've got Ivan, Ivan, Ivan Hojenkamp, $2. Show Alex Laferentz pick. Wear black back blue shirt. <laughs> who's, who's Alex Laferentz? <laughs> Alex Lafreniere. He's the... It's, it's a, he's a hockey player. He's the, the, he was the number one pick in the in the NHL draft. Okay. Well, all Ranger fans are excited because he's oh, an excellent player. 19-year-old kid. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. He's a hockey player. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I see. He's a good hockey player, not only yeah, a hockey yeah. player. Yeah, yeah. He was the, the, the number one pick in the, in, in the amateur draft, so. Oh, I see. Wow, that's your sport, isn't it? Hockey it is, is your indeed. sport there. Stuart D, Blue Super shirt. Chat. Here we go. Super Stuart, Stuart D, $2. I need a day date to make my life complete. Okay. What are you I looking at, know. Stuart? You want uh, know, a day guys, date? I, I'm just going to walk in and get a coffee. Just cover me. Talk hockey for one minute there, Blue mm. Shirt. <laughs> you don't like this. 
Go stay. ahead, go get your coffee. Uh, I, I can stay. I can stay. Okay, I'll go and get it. One minute, I'll be back. Yeah, in yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, yeah, all Ranger fans, we're all excited. Uh, this kid is going to be... Uh, Hopes to be really, really good. I know most of you guys probably don't even care about hockey or or, or have ever watched a hockey game. Uh, no, I was never a professional player. Mark P. I, I played in my earlier days, but strictly amateur. NATO, what's up? Geezer, Malik Diamond, Danger Will Robinson. How's everybody doing tonight? Okay, Heisenberg, we'll, uh, we'll read your chat when the... When the pontiff comes back from getting his coffee, I'll have to remind him that coffee is for closers. Mm, yeah, uh, Rob, to be the original six. Rangers are an original six team. So you guys got any questions you want to ask? Because I'll do shit for free. All right, some of you guys are into football. That's cool. Now, hockey's a pretty niche sport. Yeah, English football. I figured, geezer. I, I didn't. I didn't think you'd be. You were talking about American football, tennis. Couple tennis fans. That PSK thirty-one, the Winnipeg Jets. Yeah, well, you got to hope the, they keep Patrick Laine because uh, he would be. Uh, he would be a big loss. Jay Wright Cuomo is a, a, a dictator that killed, um, I don't know how many elderly people in this state. He's the worst governor we've ever had. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, Heisenberg, I ha as a kid, um, ESPN, when it first came on, which is a cable sports network, uh, they used to show Australian rules football. And... Uh, uh, I used to watch that uh, when it came on. That was a wild, wild, wild game. Hey, Hans, knees and toes. What's up, man? Good to see you. <laughs> yes, geezer. <laughs> Noodle slurping is a popular sport in Brisbane. All right, we'll give the Pontiff a couple more minutes. If not, I'm going to bail, guys. Because this is his show, not mine. So, ABC, where are you, man? Showcase watches. Okay, Fox Sports 2. Uh, shows Australian Football League. Okay, cool. Cool, yeah, I haven't watched one of those games in a long, long, long time. What's up, Logan Hall? I'll hey. be back in a minute, just getting my, 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 my mm. drinking. Mm -hmm. It's coffee, Mark P. Coffee. Coffee is for closers. Yeah, I got a couple votes for bail. We'll give him another minute. Dave Coffey, why do the Red Wings suck so bad? Well, they hung on to their, their players like Zetterberg and, and Lindstrom for too long. And uh, they signed them to big money. And they haven't drafted well. So, um, you know, if you're a Red Wings fan, you can't complain. You made the playoffs for... 20 some odd years in a row and you had a couple of cup wins in there so no uh, no complaints if you're uh, if you're a Red Wings fan hey you guys gotta... I'm back oh boy hey blue shirt yes sir hey, blue shirt yep we got some super chats there pontiff hey guys uh, let's go through these super hey, chats hey ABC it's about time ABC man how are you very quickly here let's go through these here <clears throat> I need a day date to complete my life. No, no, you don't. No, you, you need a meal. A meal and a roof over your head. Hessen, Hessenberg, eight bucks, considering mm -hmm. leaving 
Melbourne for Brisbane, cheaper property, better weather, smaller, less hectic city, and no Dan Andrews. Thoughts and recommendations, AC. Hessenberg. I got to tell you, winner, winner, chicken dinner, of course. Look, man, you can buy a decent house in uh, Brisbane, a lot cheaper than Melbourne. You can buy an apartment in a city. 400, 500,000, it's a lot cheaper than Melbourne. I would do it. Melbourne sucks. You like okay? the flyover states of Australia? That's exactly, we're on the border. We're all on the border. And the flyover mm -hmm. is kind of the desert. Now, let me ask you about Melbourne, because I know Mr. Suckerhorn is there. Are they still locked down over there? Are they still prison? Oh, uh, yeah, of course they are. <clears throat> oh, my God. By the way, guys, I'm having a bagel. Nice. Got some nuts. All right. And let me show you what ER sent me yesterday. A nice. Ah, uh, ER is the best. ER. ER. Hello, Franken. Doc. How's it going there, Pontiff? How's it going, ABC? Hey, Doc. Hey, yeah. Lucy in the house. Look at that. Thanks yeah, for coming on, Doc. I got to tell Doc. you guys, I would get out of Melbourne. It sucks. Hmm. Is Sydney more expensive than Melbourne? Um, it's ex Mel Sydney's very expensive. It's like yeah. London. Mm, okay. And New York. It's like comparing Brisbane. Brisbane's like Birmingham. Okay. Ah. Was it known for things like, um, you know, foundries, unemployment, and it was factories. the Tudor capital of the world. Tudor capital of the world. All right, let's give uh, JBI Decus uh, his five dollars worth. Read the super chat. I I didn't bail. I was tempted to, but I didn't. Here we go. Oh. JBI Deckers, five bucks. Pull a Tucker, Rask, and Bale. What's that? Tucker Rask. He was a goalie for the Bruins, and uh, he decided he didn't want to play in the playoffs. And in, in the they had a like a bubble, where the just the players were in the hotel. They went back and forth between the the rink and the hotel, and that was it. They were away from their families. He said, "The hell with this." He went home, and. Uh, his team eventually got eliminated. And you got a Joe Money, $2 Super Chat. Joe Money, 2 bucks. Arch, you moving to Bangers when you when the kids are grown up? Mm. i got to tell you, Bangers is no longer cheap. Okay? Right. You lived in Bangers at one point, didn't you? Yeah. Two years. Good times? It's still, it's still cheaper than Australia, right? I think I what I, what the aim was is to find a very wealthy older lady who can sort of take care of me. Mm, Mrs. Lai? They, the problem in Bangkok, they got the same idea. They want mm. a man to take care of them. Right. Double negative then, doesn't equal a positive. Oh, Tanzil Super Chat, course. five bucks. Pull a red right erect coat and get booted. What does that mean? A red light rascal. Red light rat rat <laughs> rat that's, that's another another hockey reference. Another hockey reference. You got Dave Coffey, two Canada. bucks. Two Canadian bucks, Dave Coffey, RIP, Bob Probert, blue shirt can explain. Yeah, Who's he that? was a, he was a, a real tough guy. He another was, hockey reference, right? Another hockey reference, yep, yep, yep. Bob Probert was what, probably one of the best fighters. Um, to ever play hockey, uh, the guy was was deadly with his with his knuckles. He was he was fairly talented too, um, playing hockey. But he was known more as a as a fighter or a goon. As they did you ever play professionally, blue shirt? I didn't play professionally, but I played pickup. It's a hard sport. It's one of the toughest sports. Their skating skills is comparable or, to a figure skater. Uh, or more. Yeah. Fight, you got a fighters on turn. ice. That's what I like. You got to quickly turn ice. at speed, keep mm. your balance. It's amazing. Mm. And Tanner Neal, five bucks. Bobby Probert or Ty Donny? Ty Domi. Rock'em, Rock Sock'em, Sock Don, Don Cherry. Cherry. Yep. <laughs> Both... Uh, Bob Probert and uh, Ty Domi was another uh, another good 
fighting hockey player, another another goon. Hockey Friday. There you go. Joe Money, two dollars. I once went to a fight and a hockey, hockey match game. broke out. Okay, you obviously uh, are a fan of Rodney Dangerfield because that was one of his famous jokes. Mm, I love Rodney Dangerfield. Yeah. Rodney Dangerfield. That's the no respect guy, right? No respect. Exactly. No respect. Right. No respect. Yeah. No respect. No yeah. respect. He was a great comedian. He was. He was. I like I like it when he got on a roll on Johnny Carson and Johnny just couldn't stop laughing. Correct. Yes. Mm. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. Those were the good old days. So how's it going, Doc? Well, it's the it's a, it's a Friday. So it's a little I, quieter I a, quieter in the morgue tonight, or a or quieter is it in the morgue. morgue? There's no echo because uh, I snuck into the boss's room, and. Nice. Uh, I'll probably come in a light day tomorrow, so that's kind of nice. I'm wearing the Franken sub today, and guess cool. what? Uh, a younger lady actually gave me a compliment on it. Nice. She didn't know what it was either. She was like, what's that? Right, and she wow. had no idea that it was molested. David, no, I didn't tell her it was David, molested at all. David Coffee, $2. Paul Coffee was one of the best wing Red Wings. Yes, Paul Coffey was a great offensive defenseman for the Edmonton Oilers, and he ended his career later on with the Red Wings. <laughs> you know, this... Doc, this, what, Doc this, what's, what's been amended in your sub? What's made it Franken? He wants to know well, how, you, how, how it was molested, Doc. It was molested <laughs> in a few ways, and because it was molested, I got it for under $5,000. Nice. Is it wrong bezel it, insert the, or what? It what, was what just sitting. Of? It was just sitting at, at at this jeweler's, and it wouldn't budge because it was molested. They took it, <clears throat> and they put on a Yachtmaster sweep hand. Mm -hmm. That's oh, one God. of the things they did. <laughs> and oh. then the Tenzia other thing they yeah, go ahead. go ahead. They put on a Yachtmaster bracelet to go with it. Nice. Why would you do that? Because somebody somebody was very rich and they wanted a polished center link, right? That's I'm. Uh, that's what that's what they said is that the, the the previous owner saw polished center link bracelet and said, "I want that bracelet on my sub." And they're like, mm -hmm. "Well, okay, right." For you, but you know what, okay. Doc? You got a bargain. Oh yeah, under five grand, I can turn this back <clears throat> to original. You know. All I got to do is just put the proper bracelet on it and put, and I've got the original hand in the drawer. There you go. Tanzil, so five bucks. Alexi Yeshman, Daniel Ashton. Aldrifusson, Alfredson, Spezza Carlson. Name the mm. hockey team blue shirt. Tanzil, I've been watching hockey probably before you were born. The Ottawa Senators. Why would he think he can stump? The blue shirt. I don't get that. That's okay. That's okay. Tansy he must just be having fun. Right making conversation. He's, just, he's he just having fun. He knows he's not. He's not stumping you. He's just having Stuart fun. Stuart D. Two dollars. Yeah. I voted Trump today. Please don't tell my mom. All right, your secret's safe with us, Stuart. Probably don't want to tell anybody at your job. Probably don't want to tell. <laughs> anyway, not just your mom, really. Paul M. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put the aircon on. I'm dying in this room here. Paul mm. M. Five. Pounds five euro fifty. How hard to get do you think is the Rolex sub forty one day right now and future predictions? Look, oh, wow, that's a loaded The standard question. one. Go to an AD, put your name down. <clears throat> I think it'll be hard for the next three or four years. Supply will increase. I don't know if it's really an investment grade watch. Do you? Any Rolex is collectible. Yep. One minute. Yep. Just something in the comments about polished center links. I've never really been a fan of them. Mm hmm. Ne me neither. Just... But you know what? I like them on I my. I think with, you know, with gold, with gold, it's it's okay. It's different, right? 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 But it's steel polished center man, links. I don't know if I would have butchered that. You know, I don't really like butchered things. That's why I had a guy who was asking me, can I put a Mickey Mouse style on a 39mm right. Explorer 1? I said, don't do it. Don't do it. Because they, they all say, oh, it doesn't matter. Money doesn't, this doesn't. I said, man, just don't do it. Yeah, no, you explained it very well to him. Um, and you. I think so, you probably talked him out of it. 
So does that mean you you don't like the look of uh, pre ceramic Submariner on a polished center link bracelet? It's interesting. It's I wouldn't different. say no to one. I wouldn't say no. How about if it's under five thousand? Yeah, exactly. That's the that's yeah. I'd, the I'd, I'd take it. Mm -hmm. The problem is how how easy is it to get a bracelet? Why why didn't it come with the it's other? No, it's not hard. It's eBay. They're on eBay. The Spend reason you. it didn't. The reason it, can, they are expensive, but but it's you, still it's still cheaper to do it this way. And then it's not even the right one for that watch because the mm -hmm. year coding would be wrong. No, the you just wait around for the right clasp and it'll come. They have them on eBay, bit. but I'm not even going to bother because I like the look of it this way. <laughs> Most people hate the center, the poly center link on the GMTs. I'm wearing it as a dress watch. What, it, what David you... Coffee, five bucks, blue shirt, was Lemmy Aux, Lemmy Nex, Lemmy Nex, Lemmy Nex, Lemmy, 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 Lemmy you, a total wimp to turtle, to turtle against, against McCarty. McCarty. No, he wasn't, because he knew he was going to get his ass kicked. McCarty was a tough guy, so not at all. The, Lemieux was not a, uh, you know, like I said, he knew he was going to get his ass kicked, so. Was Eric Lindros a good player? He was an excellent player. His problem was he kept getting hurt. He got a lot of concussions, so it cut his oh. career short. Hockey's a tough game. How do you get concussions game. in hockey? How do you get concussions? Easily. You're getting slammed into the boards. You're getting hit in the head constantly. With the puck. With, with the puck, with the stick, with somebody's forearm. It's a tough game. It's it a is. very, very tough game. Pontiff, uh, where would... Well, when you were racing out for it to turn your aircon on, uh, uh, we were talking Palace Center Links. Do you like yes. them? Do you mind them? <clears throat> Do they bother you on a steel watch? Look, I had them on the Milgaus. Correct. Mm -hmm. See, yeah. Um, I like to keep things original. Just leave it as it is, you know. And the funny thing is, you know, Scotty, Scotty had the Batman at the time. He mm -hmm. actually wanted me because he had two watches. He had a thirty-nine mil Explorer one. Mm -hmm. And he had a Batman, and he said, hey, how about we could swap the bracelets over? Yeah, but Rolex won't let you do that. No, but they don't fit. Right. Because we tried. That's why they, they won't let you fit. do it. Right. Right. Exactly. They don't fit. Right. But the I, holes I, are in a different spot. We, we were saying that, you know, on a, on a two-tone or uh, watch... You know, with the gold in in center links, it, it it looks a lot better. A lot of people have a problem with on a steel bracelet with steel polished center links. Um, well, you know, but, you know um, they scratch what? very easy and it doesn't make the watch look good. Hey, look who's here! Mark Chesterfield, the third ABC blue shirt, Buddha, and Archie hey, man. and hey. the Doc. How are you guys? Flipping hey, Mark. Zippo, What's two up, dollars. Doc Trainer? Blue What's shirt, talking hobby, hockey. It's great Friday night. Hockey, Thanks, ha hockey, hockey. Let's get Clyde. Clyde, I know you're out there watching. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna be hey, angry. Bean. He's gonna be. Hey well man, played. I just want to make sure you left abruptly when we had uh, loudmouth well, Tim on there. Yeah, because he's a racist Nazi. But other than do we but ban him? You. What do we do? It's in your hands, Mark. Do we just, ban him? Look, what look, do man, I do? Look, man, this is your show, and uh, I'm asking you. Well, let me let me let me work this through for a second. Okay, his rating's poison. Okay, I didn't say I was going to ban Blue Shirt Buddha. Well, Do we uh, ban him or not? Yeah, of course. You want to? Well, why don't you bring him back occasionally to abuse him and then hang occasionally, up? Okay. Yeah, occasionally, okay. Occasionally. Yeah, because he is poison. You know he, that? He, well, he doesn't mean to be bad. He can't help it. He just is. Thank you, Clyde. Thank you for coming, Clyde. Rancher. Yeah. Hey, Clyde. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Clyde, are you drinking? The, or, the original Wrangler. Right, Clyde, are you are you uh, are you hydrating? Um, no, I wasn't going to because I've been kind of watching the stream off and on, and it's really Atlanta. not even, Super it's not even worth moving on. Malik Diamond, five buck mark. Yeah. What's on the wrist? Bullet bracelet yet? Mm. Looking good, man. Bring it in, bring it in, bring this camera up, big boy. And then also I'm leave it on him for the rest of the life. <laughs> no, I'll just put it. I'll just, <laughs> so now that you've made me big, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rub the mug so hard. Oh, wait. Slide. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, no. <laughs> Fuck. I forgot. Double negative. I, damn it. 
<laughs> All right. Well, we, wait a minute. What's we, what's the rule? <laughs> Once you I rub them to make them go away. No, no, no. no. Sure, sure, sure. Stop, stop that. I'll get them back. I'll get them back. Watch. It'll it'll work fine. I'm just gonna rub his little face. Gonna rub his little weenie. Let's get him back. <laughs> All right. I'm sure. I'll, well, we're waiting. <laughs> God damn it. Well, we're waiting for the rancher. Quick fist watch check. Yes. The Kratomat on the bullet bracelet. Oh, bullet wow, bracelet. Nice. Yeah. I'm really liking it. What you a, love it? I do. Look at the. You can't even find the clasp. It's like right here. Concealed. Right. Yeah. It's concealed clasp. It's what a nice watch. Um, he, thank you for coming, Clyde. <laughs> Here's what I like about this watch it's basically the chronograph for people who prefer dive watches, you know? Because it's got a good dive bezel. It's got good but loom. Did you say so it comes every cool. time when you run the harp? Chunky. Yes, that's what I said. Yeah. so much cooler than an older chrono map. But... Those are ugly. Those are yeah. not refined. They're too brawny. They're too in your face. They're they're chunky. They're too. Uh, those are for rappers. This is for dog trainers. No, Here we so go. Dog have... David Coffee. Blue yeah. ship. Yes. Did Rangers fans count to ten when Red uh -huh. Wing great Koa? Oh, sir. TKO'd Caulfield. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know what? Ranger fans have, have a always have a soft spot in their heart for Joey Coaster because he played for the Rangers too. Is um, that a soft spot in their heart or a soft spot in their, in their heart? Head? In their head. No, in their heart. All right. There are some old Chrono mats with the reference number eighty one nine fifty. The mug. But he's doing subliminal messaging. Sound. For most of them, I found Never that the loom has been done for most of them, and it doesn't look right. Rub them they're, ugly. they're ugly as sin. Rub Here we go. Stuart D, out. $2. Rub Mark, out. how nice is the cold feeling wearing the sub? The cold feeling? What's the cold feeling? I don't know. But, the, you know, when you wear a Submariner, you're, like, uh, on top of the world. It's mm. such a beautiful thing. It's Here we go, Mr. C. And, by it's the way, nice. guys, I just want to show you it's my birthday next week. Uh-huh. Yeah, Elizabeth bought me this. Mm. A bottle of cognac. Nice. An expensive bottle of cognac. Remy yeah, Martin. Remy Martin. Remy Martin. Remy Martin. <laughs> you only should wear that while wearing uh, Aldi Mal, Piguet, or Vacheron et Constantin. Or Patek Philippe. But you uh, have to what Patek about the uh, Jégué Le Coutre? JJ Lacute, let me tell you guys about a JJ Lacute. I bought mine at a gay rage sale. That's right. That's where you get you. You mean, wait, you mean, what is that like a gay rage? It's like a gay rage. It's like Simeon Rage, like Don Geloid. You know, you get you one. Y'all don't know nothing about entrepreneurship. You want to know about entrepreneurship? I own my own business. It's called the Irish Sky Channel. Of course, it's on a platform that I don't own. <laughs> and I'm subject to the Google <laughs> Analytics, but I got me a double wide. Don't you worry about that, my friends. Nice. I've upgraded to a double wide. Mm. We're going to put in a septic system any day now. You'll see. <laughs> That's nice. a little harsh, yeah, actually. Uh, okay. I'm, I'm a horrible person, and I'm going I gotta to help. i got to tell you guys, but it is say, funny. I've missed you, dog trainer. I've missed you a lot. I didn't know what I could do to get you back. Well, you might just, have been angry. Oh, man, you can angry. Uh, produce quality content. Well, I, into it. Clyde, hey, I went on CoffeeZilla. Clivey, I, I went on CoffeeZilla. Did you? You showed up? Yep. You showed up. That's a good thing. That's why I'm completely tired today. Yeah, I was on there. Uh -huh. Is it published? What'd they do? I don't know. It was it was a show we did, but I, I think I'm, I don't know what happened, okay? I don't know. I don't know at the moment, okay? I think it's well, going to be Are they going to publish it? Go to uh, the live stream right now and go to CoffeeZilla. <laughs> See what happened. Rub your own mug and go to coffee. So I got to tell you guys, seriously, yes. I, I want to say this to you. I want to get rid of. Once things get back to Super normal, chat. I'm going to getting rid of a few paddocks. Here we go, mm. Stuart D. Two dollars, Rancher. What is your go-to watch for a jury trial? Oh, good question. He, he wears the Apple Watch. Yep, pretty much. So in take text messages. You also don't want to be looking at your watch a whole lot. But the Apple Watch doesn't get you any poontang, Clyde. You know this. True. Now, what were we talking about? Were we talking about it's time to leave in the live stream? I, that's what we're talking about. Right? <laughs> no, it's Friday, Clyde. We're just getting started. No, we got another half hour. hour to go. Yeah. Exactly. Well, we could arrange that. Cost mm -hmm. extra, but we could. 
<laughs> so, Mark, a bullet bracelet yeah. or oh, so nice. beads of rice or president or jubilee bracelet? No, Mark, uh, what you need to do is you need to send that watch over to Dr. BBW for some <laughs> customization. He'll put spin. He'll put spinners on it. Did <laughs> you get rid of your I'll other brightling? Did I get rid of my other brightling? Uh, what other the rainbow? Brightling? The rainbow. Not yet. No, not, one. I'm gonna. Oh, anybody wants a rainbow brightling? Uh, nine grand. I have the black one. One of two hundred and fifty. I don't have it handy to show you, but I have it. Mark Goldberg at gmail.com. You could write me. Anyway, that's about a thousand dollars under normal pricing for that thing. Eh, it's a Marmite watch. It's not everybody's. It's very nice. I like it quite a bit, but. You know what? I want to fund this, and I got a one-in-one-out policy now, so that one's going to go. <clears throat> Mark, have you flogged you everything got? that you wanted to flog? No, I still got some stuff to sell, but we'll get there. If you'd How like many? Mark to rub the mug again, please super chat one dollar. <laughs> <laughs> How many, Marky? How many? How many? Well, let's How many see. I, I I still got a few. I want to I want to sell the rainbow. I want to sell the the two tone bluesy pre ceramic. I want to sell the two line no date. Sub that's that's a pre ceramic, the one hundred four six zero M. That's the one. So what is that? That's three right there. I think yep. I'm going to sell the Breitling World Time. That's four. <laughs> yeah. Has the Grand so, Seiko gone? No, but it should. So that's five. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I just haven't focused on selling. Wait, but there's I'm, a dollar to rub the mug. Mister C. Mm. Mr. C. Thank you, oh, Mister C. Not yep. gonna do it. Rub wouldn't be mug. wouldn't wouldn't be prudent at this. Wouldn't juncture. be prudent at this venture. That's hey guys, I went and saw the movie right. Tenant. You know, Tenant. Tenant? Yeah. Tenant? Have you seen that movie Tenant? It's on Netflix. Tenant. Mm. What's it about? It's a sky. Uh, uh, it's about this <laughs> Russian oligarch who. It's time travel. It's sci fi. Mm. Sci fi. Mm. Sci -fi. Well, okay. Mm. No, I've seen it. Sci fi. Now, nice. you know, Forbin Colossus, I don't know if Forbin is uh, in the, in the uh, peanut gallery today, but he sent me a very long, impassioned email asking oh. for me and Clyde. Oh, there you are, Forbin. There he is. Uh, he, he's been asking the, me and Clyde to quit doing the... Mm. Oh, you mean the... Mm. 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 And, but, you know, guys, we're never going to quit doing that. And let me explain the origin of it. It's the sound a contented cow makes when it's munching, chewing its cud. <laughs> that's why we... <laughs> <laughs> That's why we do it. They're sometimes our... making the same sound when they're contented doing other things. <laughs> it's the Archie you know. luxury contented chewing of the cud. That's why we do it. So, nice. Mm. Not that good. I got to tell you guys, I'm looking at, I, I got to tell you, I had an in interesting conversation with a guy who's got a long jeans Lindbergh collection. And you know what he said to me? He made a confession to me. Don't yeah. tell anyone. No one's watching. Right. He said he should have stayed with Rolex. Well, mm, you know of course. What? That's a no-brainer. I know a right. two-horned fat man who says the exact same thing. I got to tell you, I want to get out of some of the paddocks, mm. okay? I want to have two or three, and mm. I'd like to get mm. Speedy, and I'd like some sort of... I'd love to get a bluesy, but they're expensive. Super chat. Know? Super chat. Stuart D, $2 rancher, can Trump pardon himself? Probably. I don't know. I mean, I don't. I don't know if there's any. Um, I don't think there's any. I'll be right back, guys. All right, Blue. Shirt. There's, there's, there's no law or precedent or. Kind of, the answer is nope. we don't know, and if he does, it'll end up going to the Supreme Court, and they'll figure it On out. On the other hand, all he has to do is like literally resign like twelve hours before the term ends, and then twelve-hour President Pence, the twelve-hour no energy drink, would then pardon him. Right. But would he trust them to do it? Who knows? So, <laughs> yeah. I, I suggest he do it himself. Stupid chat. And what, what, what happens in America when a president leaves? He, he writes a, a thousand pardons or something. He lets all these people well, typically, out. Well, you know, typically they, they, yeah, sometimes they do. They did so. that to Milken. You know Milken, the guy who earned $50 Michael billion? Dollars. Yeah, Michael Milken, yeah. Not, well, not this, to break. This, uh -huh. I was just going to say not to break this uh, you know, this TDS fest, but before he can be pardoned, he actually has to break the law. So exactly. there you go. I mean, not like an impeachment where you don't need to break the law, but you can still be involved. Well, that's, that, that, that's a David that's Coffee, $5, blue shirt, 1995, Russian five line brawl with Rangers. Who won? Well, we'll wait till blue shirt comes Another back. That's quiz. a good point. Doc, that's a good point because, you know, Trump hasn't been indicted for anything. By the way, um, I don't remember what I was going to say. 
Jay Wright, two pounds. Here we go. Show how to order booze from Dan Murphy's. It's very simple. You basically click and collect. You click and collect. You go to danmurphys.com.au. You order a drink and you put it for me. I'm the, the beneficiary. You put it down. Email me, archieluxury72 at gmail.com. I'll give you my cell phone number and they'll text me once it's ready for collection. And I'd like See, to pick up from the Middle Park store. Middle Park. Listen. The dog trainer is trying to mess with me now. He's messing with my head. First, I had him. I thought I had him diagnosed with TDS, and now he's mm. saying something like, "No, I guess What's not." What's TDS? TDS. What's TDS? Trump, Trump disenchantment Trump. syndrome. This is what the Republican Party is having right now. <laughs> Trump derangement syndrome is TDS. <laughs> you know what? The uh, the Republicans are feeling very tender right now, like little snowflakes who are worried about their guy. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down. It's going to be fine. If Trump I'm is reelected, I'll you know survive. That. I'm a Nixon I... supporter. I'm a Nixon man. <laughs> Nixon was there one you of the go. smartest. N was Nixon's a... dead already, he though. Very smart. That's the problem with that. Smart, smart and Dave like Coffee, to answer your question, the Rangers won. Ranger. I'm always going to say the Rangers won a brawl. So there you go. All right. I got to tell you guys, seriously, I, um, I'm thinking how many wristwatches do we need in our life for happiness? You know do what you I guys mean? think? I think Trump is going to pardon the Tiger King. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what, that's what he needs to do is he needs to pardon. What's that guy's name again? Does he have Clyde. the power to do that? Yes, of course he does. Yes, he absolutely does. Clyde. You we, know, we, God help me. God help me. What's the his fuck, name? The fucking local bar association is yeah. off, actually offering a CLE all about Tiger King. I'm like... Oh, Christ. What's a CLE? Oh, a continuing legal education? Yeah. Hmm. What's wow. What the hell's that guy's name? I think we, we want to, we're going to super Joe chat. Joe Exotic. You. Joe Exotic. That's right. Joe, we're going to we're gonna hire, we're gonna hire you to represent him. He's just down the street from you, Clyde. Uh, we want you to go pay what a What did visit. he do wrong exactly? Oh, well, uh, he put out a hit, <laughs> you know. He put out a hit, so it was a conspiracy to commit murder, number one. And uh, number two, a uh, bunch of bunch of animal related felonies, animal cruelty felonies. Wait a minute, then, is that illegal? Yeah. Is I not supposed to do that? Nope. And finally, multiple counts of uh, tearing off the tags from the bottom of his mattress. Yeah, time. that's definitely a felony right there. <laughs> and he he lost the park now, hasn't he? Well, they say do now. not remove this tag under yes, penalty of what? What happened to the park he had? Yes. Uh, the park went to the uh, the other guy, but that other guy just got indicted. So I forget the other guy's name, but the investor. But he just got indicted for something, I think. Oh, no, it wasn't him. The other the guy that got indicted. Half the people on that show have been indicted for federal crimes. Let's just Wait. put it like that. Right, where, are we still talking about Tiger King or the Trump, Trump Doc, administration? Doc, Doc Antler got, invi got indicted. Okay. So they're all charged with traffic. Have you been there, Clive, to that zoo? <laughs> he was looking for a new no, I, He was looking to rehome you, Archie. <laughs> Hello, fellow riser, $2, Trump 2020. <laughs> Is Blue Shirt looking, back yet? I am. To I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Take a look, take a look at the WhatsApp. The customer oh, gave me that. Mmm. 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 Nice. Mmm. Now, Mark, is have that you a do rag? Ever, is that a mask? What is that? Have you it's ever a, thought of real life? You don't oh, wear a mask. Nice, nice one, a mask, Doc. You're a mask nice. denier. You, you you believe that you know? It well, can, you know, they just came out with this. They just came out with a study. The CDC did where uh, 150 people testing positive at ambulatory care centers, 70 percent were wearing wearing masks all the time religiously as they reported themselves. 4% never wore a mask, and 4% rarely wore a mask. Well, as you remember, well, you see, the that's, whole... the, that's the problem right there. You should not wear a mask religiously. You should wear it scientifically. Yes, exactly. Plus, uh, which, remember, the polls, the, as we know, people lie on polls, right? 2016, case in point. Well, usually they're not going to lie about how often you're wearing a mask. You know, the, the, the WHO just released their study that says Rendesivir and HC. QO, whatever that shit is that you know you all take. Hydroxychloroquine. Yeah, they say it doesn't work. Meantime, the CDC does. So the WHO and the CDC are at odds right now. Who? Kind of the WHO, the World <laughs> Health Organization. Who? The who not, had not that good British albums, rock though. band yeah, from the 1960s bad. or 70s. Very good Tommy, albums. Tommy, can ABC you hear me? and I are on the same page. Tommy, can you feel me? <laughs> but I think more, 85. More. 
0.3% of all statistics are made up on the spot. <laughs> nice. Including that one. Nice. Including that one. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of statistics, how Archie. is the book sale going? Uh, well, How's you know, book? I... Seems to be going well. Uh, yeah, look, seems good. We're number one and number two on Amazon, so that's nice. going great. And um, congrats. Yeah. Good, good. What about the New York here's, best-selling here's the New York Times best-selling book list? Does that mean nothing now? It's all no. Amazon. Well, that's a big deal. That's a really big deal. But um, I don't. They, you either get on that or you don't. And I don't know yet. So, but that's that's I don't like. Know. A, Is there enough people? Are there enough people left in New York City to read books now or not? Yeah, who knows? I Listen, I don't know how that works. I know that my co-author is a New York Times bestselling author, and that is a great big deal. But, um, you know, that, that, I, that, would be like, uh, that would be like landing a man on the moon, right, Doc? It would be very hard to accomplish. Um, you just do it shot. in your head the same way it was done for the United States. I'm in low, <laughs> I'm in low, I'm in low Earth orbit. I, I don't think I'm going to make it to the moon. But nonetheless... It's uh, something to shoot for. Well, you know, low Earth orb low Earth orbit was dangerous. Yes. It's all right. So, so I mean, it it wasn't like it was without its risks. I'm thrilled that we're Super getting chat. good results. Hey guys, Joe mm. Gout. Mm. Joe Gout. Oh. Who would have been? Who would have more scandalous info on their computer, Hunter Biden or AC3? Mm. Well, Hunter Biden would probably have Swiss bank accounts and money. So yes. Wait. Yes. Who is John AC3 Galt? will have. AC3 will have uh, Bob's and Vagine. I got to tell you guys, seriously, you yes. know, I've decided, you know how I was talking about luxury cars for a while? Luxury mm. goods. Yeah. Given that I, decided, I decided to keep the Honda Civic. Good man. Okay? I'm very fortunate to be able mm. to afford that vehicle. Mm. Because mm. I think we're headed for the depression <laughs> of Why? the Why? century. Nice. Is that right? Well, so I decided uh, to keep the Honda. You know, melt, the down, Honda. Melt, melt down the Patex and start storing two cans of tuna fish. Super like, chat. David Coffey, $5. Clive, would the Chickasaw now own the Joe Exotic Zoo based on the McGirt versus Oklahoma ruling? Oh, here we Good go. question. How about that? Clyde's going to have to pull out the books. Mm. I'll need a refresher course on that one. Well, I think it's, theoretically it should because, con okay, the, this whole thing based upon, I can say it in three words, Congress fucked up. They yeah. usually do. Yep. They didn't, uh, yeah. Yeah, they didn't, they didn't basically enact an, a an enabling act for the, uh, so they kind of dropped the ball and they never got around to it. You think, you think since like, I don't know, 1907, they were thought, you know, hey, wait a minute. You know, Oklahoma, did we ever know? Oklahoma, think... Oklahoma, Oklahoma. Annie, get your gun. That's from Oklahoma, isn't it? No. No. That's from Annie, get your gun. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you got a musical called Oklahoma, and you got a musical called Annie, get your gun. Uh, They're two okay. different. Aren't they from each other? Okay. Wrong not... league. Oxley State State High. High. God, he was probably getting high during Oxley State High. <laughs> Good God. So, tell me, Archie, have you ever abused prescription drugs? No, or, no, actually, I, I, I honestly... How about illegal drugs? No, Archie... No, Oxley, I've never even had marijuana. I've never even tried you didn't, marijuana. You didn't swallow. You didn't inhale. Now, was Oxley State High a boys' school? It was a co-ed. It was a public school. It was a public school. Okay, It was a, a state run institution it's an mm. institution for the mentally sort of, insane for the criminally it's insane. all bulldozed you know i just wander around the, big the, hole in the there, ground. you know did you have a nurse ratchet there was it that kind of institution uh no it was it was just you know it was jimmy just, did a lot of poor people went there you know it was not a it was certainly wasn't a school for the money to lead you know, is why it true your, father... your uniform is a shirt, tie, and jeans? Well, you see, Archie technically wasn't a student there. Yeah. He wasn't really <laughs> staff either. I guess you could call maintenance, maybe, you know, keeping the grounds, keeping the yeah. grab nice and even. Yeah. 
No, look, I tell you what. Seriously, it was. I, I, um, I look back on those times there. That's the school is gone. It's just amazing. You, the buildings are gone. Parking. The memories are gone. It's all, you know. He wasn't. It's. He wasn't staff, but he played a big part in the agricultural sciences department. Remember when Jimmy tried to kill himself by jumping out a basement window? <laughs> yeah, you, they, they couldn't handle you, Marky. They couldn't handle your humor. You they would have beat the shit out of me. I would have been that kid on the playground getting pummeled and pounded every day. Man, they, they couldn't understand your jokes. You know that? They, 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 they had a sore... Who can, really, if you think about it? Nobody. <laughs> you know, like Bear Clooney doesn't understand. Paul... I don't Paul, understand Paul why Ford he doesn't love you. I don't well, yeah. What's you wrong? know what you get when you combine me and Mark, right? <laughs> All win. <laughs> I thought you were going to say pregnant. You know, no one really remembers who you're talking about. Well, that's because you're all young. I do. You. I <laughs> yeah. do. I Actually, Archie, this, Archie, we we know Paul. Well, right? yeah. I was thinking about. I was thinking about. I was thinking about really. Where are you? Uh, Doc's assertion about the moon landing is a hoax. Because who was president during the alleged moon landing? Nixon. Okay. Well, if we know one thing, the Republicans... No, nah, never mind. I'm not going to go forward with it. Uh-oh. No. Nah. Hmm. 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 There you go. Four of the Colossus got it right. Capricorn won. Yeah, you know... The interesting thing about Capricorn one one was originally they were supposed to be going to the moon, and someone said, "No, no, 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 that's too close. That's too hey, close." Bang so they changed it to Mars. Gotcha. Well, Capricorn one. <laughs> yep, that movie originally was written where they were going to the moon, and then they had to change it to Mars because, well, there were concerns. Right. Hmm. 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 Amazing. Legitimate concerns. <laughs> so tell us about the Pateks. You're going to get rid of a bunch of Pateks, did you just say? I told yeah, them to keep I gotta two. i got to be honest with you. I, I, the problem is I keep trying to list them for sale, right? I can't, I can't, differ, I can't tell them apart. <laughs> well, they have reference uh, numbers. No. And you Why don't you just, just get a nail? And I just think at the great. moment the economy is terrible. I think you just need to wait. You know, sometimes you got to pick your timing, Bubba. You know? You have I, I gotta be logic. totally honest with you. I probably Making did honest. bike this up. You know this? I gotta tell you, man, I biked it up. Well, it there's different help of you, of you fucking something up. It's not quite. Viking. It's not one, quite one watch per brand fucking it up. That's Viking. a pretty big fuck up. Viking. Viking. You know, I was happy. I had all these beautiful watches. I love them. You know this? I've always loved luxury. Time tiny pieces, little watches. You know? You've always loved little teeny weeny ones. luxury goods. Teeny oh, weeny oh, whiny. Oh, you know? I mean, you're a large man. You should be wearing a president or something, you know, substantial. Thirty-six mil. No, forty. They date forty. 40. Mm -hmm. 40, mm -hmm. 40. Right, let me show you. Look at this here. Look at this. What do you think of that, guys? This, this is a collection. This mm. was this was the good old days. The look good old that, days. Guys. Yeah. Look at that, well, look at that line it. up there. Paddock, a Reverso, Brege, Rolex, Tudor, and an IWC. What a well, perfect combo meal deal. You know, yeah, you really fucked up. Two out of I think one, that was a great <laughs> one third I of think that collection. That was is a shit. great collection. You know one, what I mean? Was. One, one third of that collection yep. is shitters, though. That's the problem. Shiders. They're shiders, yeah. you know? Yes, I do. And uh, look at this. Look at this here. How's that? That was my travel case. Look at this, baby! Where are they? Rolex now? and a paddock and some cufflinks and some pins. You, Man, you want, I was happy. The good old you know, I was happy. Look at this here. Look at this. I'll show you. Look at look at these two babies. Man, this was, the these moon. were usable. Look at that speed. Look at that speed master. And look at that. Breakling. Look at this. Shightling on Look time. Simply the best. Almost oh, as nice as the aluminum bezel. Uh, 
Car fun. Like car it. fun. Five bucks. Rolex and Biden for 2021. Yes, we can. Wear your mask, AC3. We need you in the watch community. Well, you know what? Archie literally has herd immunity. He is literally the definition <laughs> of herd immunity. Nice. I got to tell you guys, look at these pictures here. I look at these pictures and I cry. Mm. Look at that combo. Look at the deal. Combo meal deal. Hunger buster. Look at this. Right. I bet you look at oh, that. Oh, you know what? If I had this box now, you know what I would slide on? <laughs> I want to slide the Breguet, but I'd probably put that Rolex on, dirty, man. Dirty. Dirty. There dirty. you go. I think you're getting it. Oh, what did I do wrong? What did I do Every man needs that? a oh. Rolex. Look at, wasn't that a beautiful bit of everything? Look at that. Yeah, great collection right there. Happy times. Yep. And you could have been sliding on you and were, everything. You were churning and, I, I and burning content out. I, I didn't need to have massive debt. Didn't need to have repayment plans. Nope. With Scotty <laughs> or Dave. You know what I mean? I don't know mm -hmm. what to say, man. You were churning and burning what, the content out left and I right in those days. What, what, that engineer, though, I, I, admit, I have to admit, though, the engineer is pretty nice. You could have been there. Hey, you could have been what somebody. About this, com this was That's the best combo. Look awesome. at that. That was it. That mm. was it. This is it. Mm. Look at this. Three roll eyes, some paddock, and some other. Look at that. was a perfect combo meal deal, wasn't mm. it? Zenith El Primo. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What a shame. Mm. That was back when you had watches you could wear to lunch. Yep. At a, at a Vietnamese restaurant, not worry about getting mugged along the way. Mm. Or who was slurping your noodle? Precisely. And I got to, I even missed that one there, the paddock that I sold, the five two nine six. That was a great paddock. I love that one. Gone. I want, I want you know, that, that Maserati blue dial though. Isn't mm. that an amazing watch? That is a truly amazing watch. And that the Sermit looked really good on you because it was big enough for you. Mm. And uh, you were happy mm. when you were wearing the Sermit. The smile on your face when you were wearing that Sermit, Archie. It was just, it was, it was like the old days. Ah. Like the, the old days. days eh? The glory days, eh? The glory days. As Bruce said. And you had to give it back. Bruce Springsteen. That is. Mm. Mm. I gotta tell you, Stevie McQueen there, nothing selling at the moment. I'm in Brisbane. That's 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 the Australian equivalent to Flint, Michigan. See, I think there's something fishy here because mm. you know, you can sell a Patek. Mm. A Patek is a, is a saleable mm. Not brand in of Flint, one. Michigan, is it? Well, why do you have to sell it in Brisbane? You have a whole country there you could sell Just it. Just don't drink the water. The lockdown, lockdown. You, DHL, FedEx, they are all working. Everywhere, globally, you could sell it How to about America. David S W, David S W, David S W. David S W. Yeah. I gotta tell you, man. Seriously, I think mm. for me, it's just a matter of time. Okay. Mm. Until matter, what? A matter, a matter of time. You know, I tell you, I missed it. I missed it. I got it wrong. I couldn't see the wood for the trees. Mr. Mr. C. C, five dollars, oh, Archie. What do you have written on your tombstone? Well, I'm, I'm for starters, I can't afford a burial. It's being cremated. Just throw the ashes into the wheelie bin. Uh, no, no, actually, that was. Because I want to go back to waste management and haunt those sons of bitches. <laughs> Archie. I want to go, put me, throw me in the wheelie bin. <laughs> Archie. And I want to go back and haunt those sons of bitches. Archie, if you're cremated, technically that's a barbecue. <laughs> I think what will be written on Archie's stone is back the truck up. <laughs> I think it'd be every man needs a Rolex. I could Super have died. Beg me up. Dan Redkey, three bucks. It's Friday night live. Chat. Evening all. Wait, evening what? If, what if you? I think your stone should say, "I don't do shit for free." There you go. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Yes. Yes. I'm gonna get a stone from uh, my good friend. Here lies Archibald Chesterfield the Third. I don't do shit for free. <laughs> no, it should be like subscribe and tell all your fucking friends. There you go. <laughs> I gotta tell you guys. Um, have you thought about what, what is Vegas expensive to live? No, I don't think so. No, it's think, not. Yeah. I watched the Graham Stephan show. Do you watch that? He just bought a 1.4 million dollar house in the middle of this desert. Why would you do that? 
Yeah. Las Vegas is in the middle of the desert. Yeah. Exactly. But it's just. He probably in the has of money. Oh, is is it a good place to live, Vegas? Uh, the people who live there love it. You know, you've got the mountains nearby. You can get to L.A. Mm. in a few hours. Uh, well, cost, the plus, cost of living is low. On the plus side, there are depends no on who you're running away from. That's a no tax state as well, isn't it? Correct. Pro- yes. You it know, is. When, prostitution uh, is legal. Services are legal depending on where you yep. go. Yep. They actually went from uh, Las Vegas itself. The city had a zero tolerance policy on marijuana. If you got caught with one marijuana seed, it was a felony. And now it's the now it's state le- legal statewide. What an enormous turnaround. Wow. Mm-hmm. They're doing it tough in Vegas at the moment, but aren't they with the lockdown and that? Well, I think now there's gambling everywhere. In Illinois, there's gambling like on every at every Seven Eleven has machines, bars, restaurants. So uh, I think the cachet of Vegas has become more about the entertainment than just the gambling. Um, but it, it it's a wonderful, cool place. I, I I would love to go back soon. Maybe you could go there and start your own casino. We were gonna we were gonna have a Cardinals meeting there. We just never managed to pull it off. But mm, I would love thanks, to do that. Sean. <laughs> a little bit true but uh i i would love to go there the there's well, great restaurants entertainment hotels lots of things to look at and do I, it's a great place it, well maybe you wow, could go start your own casino just freaking hot instead of calling it circus circus you could call it rodeo rodeo no that'd be you Clyde. It's, that'd be your you're the rank dry heat yeah, so is my yeah. oven, and I cook a turkey. In yeah, there, you know? know what? They always say that it's just dry heat. You know what? Dry heat is freaking hot. It is. If you put a chicken in your back seat when you go to work and just roll up your windows, it's cooked when you're done, when you're done your shift. Amazing, guys. Mm. I've got to tell you, I would like to, seriously, I, I want to go back. Da, da, these were the days, you know what I mean? My collection... Mm. These were the days, yep. my friend. We thought they'd never end. You guys, I blame you guys. You didn't support me. You didn't <laughs> <blame you. laughs> Rolex, 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 fuckers. You know what? Your problem is you didn't listen to yourself. You were trying you to got, outdo the rodent, and that you was got your downfall. Bored. You got bored. You Over and over and over and over again, you taught your viewers that getting bored in watches costs you money. Mm. And then you got mm. bored. And then you got bored. Mm. I got bored. I got, got really Is that break bored. even offer still on the table for the 5127? Uh, well, he, he, he wants to finance it. He wants to finance it. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll. I kind of. Oh, get back on the chopper. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a. Get out of here! Get out of here! <laughs> I'll break your neck like a chicken. Down. Bone. Now! I'm coming. Get to, get to the chopper. Get that chopper right away. Get out of here. Oh, ow, 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 ow. It's the pink box. The box with the pink interior. The box. The box. The box. So, you now, know, I remember I gotta... that, bo- that box was nearly lost. It was nearly lost in a, I... in a romantic dispute, and it required yes. a fixer. And the a romantic <laughs> dispute involving a different pink box. Yes. And these, these, these are all the books I, I got sucked in. These are all the books. Look at this. The, books, uh, you, the, the, the problem is you didn't get sucked in. That's the entire problem. That's the, yeah. exactly. Yes. Yes, 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 she, yes. If you, if you would have played your cards right, my friend. Uh, well, I thought, I thought I'm an amateur. I'm an amateur in a man's world, okay? What do you expect? Don't I be went a to Oxley State High. What do you be, honestly expect? Be an alpha. Look at those teeny little things. They're so tiny. What do Six you expect? identical patek. No, 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 no. Six unsellable patek. <laughs> There we go. That's Rub that five. in. Thank Rub you. it in nice Thank and deep. You. There. That's what yeah. she said. Look, that's... that's <laughs> That's the way it goes, guys. You know, I'm sorry. It's just... It's all gone pear-shaped. All gone pear-shaped. Oh, gone pear sh- I love these boxes. I got addicted to these. This is the Aaron B. Spoke, you know? Aaron B. Spoke. Mm. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Super chat. Super chat. Super chat. Super chats, man. Car fun! I love a bit of car fun. Six five dollars. Well, no, listen, all. six patheks when walking into a singer 
Patek dealer is cool and a feeling no one knows on the board. Laugh out loud. Thank you. Yeah, because we all have watches we can wear in the shower, in the swimming pool, and then a hooker mm. and a stripper will know what they are. <laughs> that, no, 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 no. That's why. All but one of us do. That's why we know. <laughs> right. You know. Guys, I got to tell you, man, it's it's amazing to have the crew back. This is, is like, I feel like I'm in Ocean's Eleven. It's amazing to have <laughs> the crew back. And now you it's know? time to it's wrap just, this biker up, isn't it? It's it's just cool to have the crew back here, man. It's really good. Hey, Archie, I want to say, if you're yes. going to watch this, can I give you some quick advice? <laughs> here we go. Yes. Go kill yourself. I'm prepared to be anally raped. <laughs> well, I understand, guys. I got Archie tell you, on Archie crime right there. I mm. gotta tell you, you guys. I I think I've done that. You always you don't realize what you've got until you nearly lost it. You know. Are you referring right. to the Yamamoto Family Trust again? Mm. I gotta be completely honest with you. I love butt fuckers, butt fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> I think the 5296 was your best Calatrava, in my opinion. Ah, oh, definitely. Mm. Why'd you vlog mm. it? Bogan's 11. <laughs> <laughs> I needed the money, you know, because the 6006 mm. was so cool, you know? I wanted to be hip and trendy. Right. I wanted to have dog trainers as, you know, mentors and ranchers and you know, I got to be ahead of the pack. Right. Hmm. Blue shirt. Yes, How, sir. Any, any buyer's remorse with no. the uh, blue nope. seat? Buyer's nope. remorse. Tell <laughs> nope. me. Well, that's nope. so pretty. That's such nope. a great watch. Any seller's nope. remorse on the two explorers? Uh, do I miss them? Sure, I miss them. But yeah. I'll, I'll I can always revisit them again down the road. Do you miss them more than your first car? No, no. I don't okay. miss them more than my first car. What I'm was your still first totally, car? I'm still totally in love. I'm still in the, the honeymoon. Ranch. What was your first car, Blue Shirt? It was a 1963 Ford Galaxy convertible. Oh, Ooh. they were amazing. Yeah, uh, I was. Sounds like a, it was 20 years old when I got it. it sounds like a pussy mobile. Car. Yeah, yeah, it was <laughs> great. And what happened to it? It I right. eventually fell apart and I sold it mm. like an idiot. Mm. Yeah, they all well, fall apart. A 20 year old yeah. car is. Well, they, okay, they but, weren't made to last then. That's what Chip says about 20 year old girls. You know, Dog Trainer, he had a Ford Galaxy too, didn't you? No, I had a Ford Country Squire sedan. It was not cool. You know, Blue Shirt at least had a cool car. I had a station wagon. <laughs> you know, it was awful. No, you regret Blue Shirt. How bad is it? On a scale of Archie Luxury from five years ago to Archie Luxury now. Ooh. <laughs> That's a tough one. That's a, a tough harsh, one. A little harsh, Clyde. But you gotta understand, I was pulling up I was pulling up in my twenty year old Ford Galaxy convertible or in my high school, uh, you know, it was a fairly well to do neighborhood and there was every color Trans Am, Firebird, Camaro and Mutz. Right. So it was, it, I mean, I thought it was cool, but it was not, uh, it was not, you know, the, the popular car at the time. So, but it was a lot of fun. And being a convertible. Who's wearing a two-tone Rolex now? That would be this guy. Yeah, that's uh, that would also be this guy. Also, Mark <laughs> has one. Fuck also, Doc has one. Actually, it's hmm. everyone except you. <laughs> no, I... <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Count on Clyde. You can always count on Okay, guys, we're going to wrap this baby Mike up. Drop. See wrap you tomorrow. Later, Bye, fellas. Thanks, guys. Adios, gentlemen.